So what happens if you build more than one part in an IPT and you don't discover it until you're ready to put the assembly together? How do you fix it? Or what if you wanted to take some of the good features out of one part and start a brand new part with those particular features? We're going to show you a technique that allows you to do this with an inventor. It's not that it's extremely difficult, but there are some hiccups that can occur, and then you have to be aware of them. First things first, as you can see, we have a guitar body, and what we're going to do is take the outside shape, and we're going to deal with the neck pocket of this particular guitar body. So I'm going to create a brand new part to bring these two components into. To do that, we're going to start with just starting with a brand new part. I can hit the magical letter I up in the corner and hit new and do a new part or I can just say I want to create a brand new part. So now when you create a new part what happens? Well you automatically get into a sketch mode. What you want to do is you want to get out of the sketch mode initially. We can always go back and play with the sketch later but we basically want to put this part in part level as opposed to sketch level. Notice that we've got both the original part and the new part file on the bottom. So I'm going to go back to the original. Now that I've got my new part created where it needs to go into, the, into a separate file, into a separate part file, I'm going to go ahead and start looking at what geometry I need to take away. Some of the things you can do to help make this a little bit easier is turn on like the XY plane and you go under the origin folder, right mouse click on the plane and turn on the visibility. And this will give you, you know, and I'm going to do is rotate, this will give you the surface that the object happens to be on. So this, this now tells you that the XY plane is actually attached to the back of this guitar body. So we just need to be cognizant of that when we work with it. And we may need to, uh, to tweak some things. So we have a body outline, and that's the first component that I'm going to take and move to the new IPT file. And this, let's say, for example, this happened to be a second part that we created off to the right-hand side of the original. Same thing holds true. The process is the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right mouse click in the browser window and I'm going to copy this part. I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to copy it right now. I'm going to pop back over to part number three, which is, remember, that was the new part file we created. Back in the browser window, I'm going to right mouse click. Well, hang on a second. Even before I do that, I better turn on that origin folder again, open that origin folder up, and turn on the XY plane. Because I also need to know where that XY visibility is for orientation purposes. So I'm going to right mouse click and I'm going to paste it. When I do that, it's asking me some information. It wants me to be able to paste the feature, but it doesn't know what sketch surface to paste it on. Hmm. It needs a plane, and it asks me to pick the sketch plane. So the sketch plane, remember the sketch plane was on the back surface, so I'm going to pick the XY plane, because that's the con same consistent plane that it was originally pasted with. Now the angle, 0, 0, is, ro is a rotational angle that you're dealing with. And so we're going to leave it at 0, 0 so it's pasted back on the plane. Now if you zoom out a little bit, you can see that it's pasted on the object. Okay? But we do have an issue. If you notice, the 0, 0 point isn't where it needs to be. This becomes problematic because the zero zero point of the file can be readjusted and that may cause an issue. 
So even though I picked the plane, and the plane's going to be located at 0, 0, the original 0, 0 of the drawing may not coincide with that, which may cause problems if we move more geometry over. If you're moving one piece of geometry over, no harm, no foul. If you need to move multiple pieces of geometry over, it becomes a much more difficult task. You have a little bit more work to do. It's not painful, but it is an issue. Okay. So I've placed the zero, 0, of that original object close to the zero, 0, of of the XY work plane. Now is it going to be exact? Nah, probably not. We're going to go ahead and choose finish. And we now have the guitar body, just the shape of the guitar body, in part number 3. So let's go back to the original drawing, and this time we're going to take off the neck pocket. So we're going to copy the same geometry of the neck pocket. So we're going to copy it, come back over to part number three. Again, back over in the browser window, I right mouse click and paste it. Okay, it now needs to know what surface we need to put that geometry on. So do we want to put on the back surface, the side surface, but it needs to know where the geometry goes. Now don't be totally alarmed that this geometry is not in the right orientation. Remember, the orientation was based on where, we, where that zero, 0 was located. And if we didn't know exactly where the zero, 0 is located, we're going to show you how to fix it. So I picked the front face because that's where the geometry belongs. Now theoretically, I can probably go in, edit this, and shift it into position, or at least get it close. Now the problem is, is that I can't accurately locate this at this point in time. I can choose the front view, magnify up, Well, we ran into an issue with that item. All right, so let's try this again. Right mouse click and paste. There's our feature. Pick the top surface. If I move the XY, which is this little plus sign, I'm able to shift it. Well, the problem is, could I get it accurate enough to be perfect? Probably not. I'm close, it looks much better, and yes, if I knew the exact position, I probably could adjust it to that location. The problem is I'm ballparking it here. Oh, cancel. That's what happened, I hit the right mouse button. So let's try this again. Don't hit the right mouse button in the middle of this. Pick your surface, if you want, you can adjust your point, bringing it up. But I'm not going to make it exact. Why? Because I've got a better way to do this. Because exactness is important. So I finish it, and you're going, well, where is it? Well, it's actually here. But it's an extrusion, so it actually now extruded the neck pocket out. The problem is it's not in the right spot. So I need to adjust the position of that sketch. So here's what needs to happen. Theoretically, what I need to do is delete this extrusion. Keep the sketch, delete the extrusion, and reposition the sketch on the current part. So right mouse click delete. You're going to get the box up here. 
and this box indicates well what do I want to delete well I don't I do not want to delete the consumed sketch so I'm going to uncheck that so that way the consumed sketch is not deleted it will delete the feature meaning the extrusion but it won't delete the sketch behind it we'll choose OK so now I've got the sketch well like anything I can double click and get into sketch mode which I'm now at I can do a little geometry projection here project geometry the top edge and the side edge and then I can say alright I want to make these two collinear so I'm going to take this and the top line and make them collinear the problem is if I try this on the uh, the right side it probably isn't going to work so I'm going to have to dimension that but we'll try it anyways because once in a while it may actually work now not perfectly tangent but what I do want to make sure of let me magnify up is that this line or this point right at the top is going to be zeroed at this corner which it now is well guess what that sketch is now aligned I can finish the sketch do the extrusion of the neck pocket but I also need to make sure that I select all four of the holes the drill holes and my depth is 0 0.70 on the cut of the neck profile choose OK and we get an error So you know what the problem is? What direction am I trying to extrude? That's right, the arrow is showing that it's coming out of the body and I chose cut. The cut needs to go into the body or direction number two. So if you get the error, don't stress, take a step back, see which way the direction arrow is pointing. and then choose OK. So as you can see we've now taken the guitar body, the neck pocket, I could do the next shape which is the pickup pockets and continue to work, work down the line using the align tools, dimension, positions, and geometric constraints to build or rebuild or reposition parts that were built in the wrong file. Have a great day.